In April 2023, I found myself lying on my bathroom floor, bleeding and hardly able to move. About two years earlier, what initially started off as little patches of dry skin turned into a full-blown autoimmune attack of chronic eczema, hives, and inflammation all over my body. Some days, my skin was so dry that if I tried to move my neck, arms, or legs, my skin would literally crack and bleed. And let me tell you, as an obsessive planner, this was not part of the life plan. <laughs> you see, ever since I was young, I had this dream of having the financial freedom to work and travel anywhere in the world. From choosing to study accounting and finance in university to starting an online business, everything I did was to make this dream possible. And yet, there I was, lying on my bathroom floor, unable to work, hardly able to move, and completely defeated. I saw countless doctors and spent thousands of dollars out of pocket for treatment. But nothing worked. In fact, I just kept getting worse. The truth was, my body was failing me. And suddenly, my dreams felt so far away. But as I came face to face with the reality of my own mortality, I had to choose whether to give up and stay on that bathroom floor or get up and start taking control of my own life. A fire lit inside of me. And that night, I dragged my broken body off of the bathroom floor and limped to my laptop in the other room. Then, I sent in my resignation to quit my corporate finance job, go full-time in my online coaching business, and booked a one-way trip ticket to Mexico. <laughs> and there must have been something in the food, water, or climate in Mexico, because within just three weeks, 90% of my health issues went away. And as I lay on the warm sand, with the ocean waves crashing onto shore and the red sunset in the distance with a healthy, working body, I realized, oh shit, this is my dream. <laughs> now the reason why I'm telling you this story is because in our life, we often think that it's just out of our control, that there's nothing we can do about it. But that's not true. From this experience, I learned that, sure, I may not have control over my genetics and that I'm prone to have eczema and dry skin. Thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> but what I do have control over is the environment that I live in to support my health. You see, oftentimes when we feel stuck, we tend to focus on the things that we just can't control. But today, I want to challenge you to think about what are the things we can control? For example, we may not have control over our genetics that we inherit th from our parents, but what we can control is our diet and environment. We may not have control over that annoying boss or coworker, but what we can control is how we communicate and interact with them. We may not have control over rising real estate prices and inflation. Ugh. But what we can control is how we manage our own personal finances. When we believe our actions have the power to change our lives, this is when we transform our realities. My entire life changed when I decided I'm in control of my own health, my own relationships, and my own finances. 
And so if you just take one thing from today, remember, your goals, your dreams will only happen if you believe you're in control of your own life and choose to take the right actions to bring them into reality. And so, let's take back control. Thank you.